What's up, LNC fam? Welcome back to another video. Rebuilding 2012 Porsche Carrera. We got this car from Colpart with the front end collision. If you guys haven't seen part one and two, I'll put a link down in the description so you guys can check it out and be up to date. Live auction, putting the interior completely together. And part three, we're gonna start working on the body. Got some front body damage. This upper piece got pushed in. So pretty much we're gonna replace this the body panel and a couple other little small pieces and then we'll start putting everything back together test fit i got a new fender new hood new bumper yeah so let's see how this goes so for now let's uh put the car on quick jacks so i have a uh, nice uh, leveled everything and i could uh, just work around and do my magic and make this car look like nothing ever happened let's go you just slide those bad boys right underneath the car. Now let's grab the other side. Now we'll grab the pump. Now we got all this space to work. If I need access, I got 360. Okay, this is the front panel. This is the, this little guy that I was telling you guys. And then this is the main guy that's gonna go on top. And that's it. So right now I'm gonna start uh, drilling out this upper piece first. And then we'll remove the side piece. And then front body panel, it's actually, it's actually savable. So we'll see how things go. Maybe we'll save it, maybe we won't. Uh, we'll decide that one once we get there. Let's get everything out of the front. That's it, I got everything out of the front. This piece right here, this piece, we gotta replace this. That's where that small section go. Gotta remove this uh, reinforcement right now, kind of free everything around this area. And then we'll start uh, grinding this upper panel off so I have to pull the fender because this piece goes inside of the fender so yeah so lots of work ahead of us so let's just dive in knock this out test fit everything and we'll go from there I love Porsches very simple and easy design and I love how everything just like a Lego puzzle Next, I'm gonna remove the fender. Now I gotta remove the wheels. Looks like they put a little spacer to extend the wheel. So I gotta remove the fender liner and then we could remove the fender. Once again, already sweating. Hey, what's up, man? It's a big boy. Just leave it here for now. Get a couple of bolts right here and the fender should come off. It's already loose. But I can't get the power tool in there, so I gotta do it manual by hand. Whew. Sweating. This is the airbag sensor right here. Ta-da! And it's 
removed. Put in the safe spot. So now we have access to those spot welds. We'll grind everything off, remove this piece, and then we'll start working on the other side. So with this, I want to clean this uh, caulking sealer off so I know and I could see what I'm doing. Always use protection, guys. That's it, just cleaned it up so I know what I'm doing. So now we're gonna start uh, drilling all those spot walls so we could lift this up. The most valuable player. I love this 3M little grinder. You straighten this out. That's it. Need a torch because everything is glued down. See, like sparks. It's the aluminum. Look at this side, pretty much holding on the side. And then all of those on the front. <laughs> Everything glued like crazy. So that's why it takes quite some time to pull this out. Well, put my Gucci's on. Remove the lock so we don't damage it. But we're gonna need a new lock anyways. This thing is toasted. The driver just called. They're supposed to deliver a bumper, new bumper. We're getting something cool for this. We're not gonna put this car back to original. Front end's gonna be a little different, so you guys gonna have to stick around and find out. That went by quick. Okay, we're done up here. So next, gotta remove this piece somehow. So it goes in there. Gotta do this very, very carefully now. Hopefully we could kinda pull it out of there. It's gonna be a little tricky. <laughs> Smells like barbecue. Slash hammer. Come to Papa, come to Papa. Ah, hot. Ta da! Here's our new piece. Look how messed up this thing got. Smooshed two pieces. Do свидания to that piece. We don't need it anymore. So this piece is gonna go in here. I just gotta clean everything up and then we'll tuck that in here. We'll be as good as new. So now I'm debating, should we replace this piece or should we fix this piece? What do you guys think? Ugh, gotta, gotta think about it. Cause pretty much this is an easy fix. But since we have it, you know what? Since we have it, just gonna do it by the book and replace it and call it a day. Let me show you guys how easy it is to fix this. Pretty much straight. But since we have this piece already, we're gonna just replace it. Because this car is a clean title. So I wanna do everything by the book and make it look like 
nothing ever happened. I gotta recover the Freon and then we'll put it back in. Let me go get the AC machine and we'll recover the Freon real quick. Good stuff, I love this machine. It's gonna take about probably 15, 20 minutes. Five hours later. Oh. Nothing comes out. Nothing gonna be in our way. So we can continue doing the surgery. Silicone caulking off so I could see where my welds are. This is gonna take too long. I got a different solution. Give me a second. Since this is like a very thick and it's gonna take me forever to uh, use that. So what I usually do, torch it up. Hey, what doesn't kill you make you stronger though, they say. Those are spot welds. They're like stashed away behind the caulking, so I need to expose them so I could uh, grind them off. Strong man. I rip it. I'll rip it with my hands. Sheesh. Sheesh. Thank you. Easy. Juices. Okay, so we're all we're all done pretty much. Just gonna have to uh, clean everything up real well. And we could start installing our new pieces here. And then this guy goes right here. And this guy goes right here. Easy money. Very easy. So our GT3 bumper just arrived. It's aftermarket bumper. And I'm very curious to see the bumper, you know, uh, what kind of quality it is. Because never bought an aftermarket GT3 style bumper. It's, it's a good quality. <laughs> Let's see what this bad boy looks like. So far, so good. Good quality plastic. Here's the front lip. Wow, <laughs> I like it. And then here comes like all the plastic pieces. This is where the fog lights go and the grills. This one goes here. Oh, I see goodies. So here's the mesh. It's very, very expensive. This one goes here. The center goes up here and a bunch of little brackets and stuff like that. Super happy, good quality. Okay, so now we could start working. Now I got a bumper to test fit. I could install the fenders and do test fitting and see how everything lines up, what's up here. We're gonna put everything back for now in the box so nothing gets lost. Got a little rip in the floor, but this is not bad. We're gonna repair this and weld it together and call it a day. And then obviously everything's gonna be covered up and you're not gonna be able to see this.
Luckily, I'm a firefighter too. So we got a little progress. Dude, this came out. Killed it. Came out pretty good, huh? It. We got a little rip in the floor. What happened? Nothing happened. So once you put this, you won't see You're anything. You're not even able to see it. You put that much work into it. Come on, man. I have to. Either we do it perfect or we don't do it at all. If you look at the bottom, like you can't really see anything. I got to put a couple more layers. And then we'll paint it a uh, gray color. And it's going to look super clean. So I got them in there. So I'll mark them from behind. So I know exactly where to drill it. And I'm just trying to scratch the inside. So this is where we need to drill. Just drill out the hole. So now we're gonna scuff this up. Something like this. Now we're gonna get our rivets. Bada beam, bada boom. Yeah, I'm probably gonna wait to put that in there. Next, we're gonna put this guy just like this. But this is how all the new cars are made from like glue, this special bonding adhesive. And those are uh, Porsche recommended. I, we buy them from Porsche. I think they're a dollar a piece. That's it. We're gonna let this dry up. And then once it's all good, we'll start doing the top part. Boom, right where it needs to be. Perfect, so that means everything aligned perfectly and our square is completely squared and ready to go. Let's finish this up and go from there. And I pretty much gotta do this all over. So it's gonna take me some time but that's the proper way to do it. Six and a half hours later. After drilling million holes, we're finally ready to secure it. So right now I'm gonna remove this and we're gonna apply the panel binding and then we'll put rivets and we're pretty much done with the front end. As you guys could see, those were all the original ones. So we put them in the same spots. Been in uh, child syrup. Yeah, I got my holes pre drilled and everything aligns perfectly. That's it, front end is together. Next, uh, we're gonna install the fenders. And check it out. Okay, let's put the right side on. I 
let's see what do I do with the screws. Grab the bumper. Yeah. <laughs> very, very nice. Here's the hood, and you know what's crazy about the hood? I found this hood on eBay, and I contacted the guy who was selling, and he ended up being uh, one of my subscribers. As soon as I called him, he's like, is this Dr. Vlad? I'm like, yep. He's like, that's so cool, I watch your channel, so. Thank you for hooking me up. And then put those studs in this holes. Yep. So yeah, I'm gonna, gonna have to get new hinges. Look how badly they're bent sideways. Once the new hinges arrived, uh, we'll do the final test fitting because they're way off right now. So, okay, good to know. So we just finally got some new hinges. As you guys remember, I tried to install them and the alignment was completely bad, but look how bent they are. So they're completely crooked and they're trash. So we got new ones. So let's slap those bad boys on. That should be a lot better. As you guys remember how messed up the front end was. So definitely gotta replace the hinges. And now I got a different fender too. I had one up there. This one has more damage than this one. And I just don't wanna deal with a bunch of body filler and try to fix it. So we'll just reuse this one. Now I gotta remove the other fender and replace the hinge as well. Yeah, look at this. No wonder the hood didn't align whatsoever. Little hammer time as well. Same thing, let's remove the shock. Much better. I like it, so far so good. So I just installed the hood, so next I'm gonna install the GT3 foam bumper and man, it's gonna look very clean. So let's try it out and see how it looks. And I'm gonna put a couple of bolts. I'm not gonna secure it completely, just to see how it's gonna look. I'm still missing the side brackets. So once those come in, we could secure it completely, but this is just a rough test fit. Man, I love it. Came out so nice. And this is just a rough install. I just secured it on three bolts. And then once we get everything situated, it's gonna be up and it's gonna be secured everywhere. But so far so good. Uh, this is gonna go up as well. So the gaps are nice and clean. I like it. So yeah, everything aligns very nice. So next we're gonna start doing the body work. I gotta fix a couple of things here. I got a couple of things on the fender. Well, I think one more thing somewhere. Just gotta look through everything, make sure everything looks good before we start painting. So for now, we're gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to this channel and you guys enjoy this kind of content, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in part four. До свидания!